Hello and welcome to episode 68 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on making a black shovel and a steel mace. Now what I wanted to do in this episode originally was just to make two new chests. Um, just to show you, let's go to the crafting table and show you which chests I wanted to make and why. Let's take that. Okay, so you remember in the last episode I gained level 11, which opened up the disassembled red chest. But I thought, wait a minute, I need a second chest to hold my armours, because uh, going into different biomes, you know that I'll either take health damage or stamina damage, so it's important that I can quickly switch. So I wanted to do the disassembled blue chest. But if I click on that, you will see that this is a list of the ingredients. Now, that's fine, I've got that. I've got that, I've got that, I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. But what I haven't got is the gem. Um, well, I have got some chips, but of course you need to make a gem. You need five chips. And so I come to the conclusion that I need to do a lot more gem hunting. Because if I show you my gems that I currently have... You see I've got two emerald chips, one topaz, four diamond chips, one ruby chip and five onyx chips. And you're all screaming at me now, Gamester you imbecile, you've got five onyx chips, make your chest. Uh, make the gem so you can make your chest. Well the trouble is I need two chests, don't I? One for my base and one for out. So really I need ten chips. So, in order to get five more chips, I'm going to have to do a whole load more hunting. So I thought, well, you know what, let's make the best weapon that I can. And I thought at the same time, let's make the black shovel, because it's, it's in here, and I want to see what an improvement, if any, it is over the iron shovel, because no doubt you're wondering the same. See the iron shovel, let's make it anyway. So, you need the anvil, I've made a second anvil, so I can do both. If we scroll down, you'll see there's the black shovel, so let's do that. You need 10 sticks, 3 iron and 10 ash, and a hammer, and uh, well I've got iron tongs, so we'll select that, and OK. Now we'll go to this anvil, open up the recipes. So I looked through the weapons and I thought, which weapon shall I make this time? I, the steel short sword is um, a little faster than my... Um, iron mace. Remember the iron mace is 0 0.63 so this is 12, 0 0.12 faster but only does 37 damage. Now my iron mace, let's just pull it over here so it's easy. Oh bugger, never mind. Alright, let's cancel that. Let's put that back so at least I can show. So anyway, my iron mace is 45 damage. So that's not really an upgrade, is it? I know it hits swings slightly quicker, but for the creatures, the foxes and the boars, um, I normally can get two swings in, so the more damage, the better. Uh, so if we go back, and there's the... Oops, that was the wrong one. So that was the steel sword, 37, so it's not as much damage. Yeah, it's quicker, but I still want to go with more damage. The steel longsword is still one less damage. Yes, it's quicker again, but only slightly. So what I've decided on, let's just stay with the maces. So the steel mace, look at that, check that out. 15 more damage, and it's the same speed. But I need steel ingots. So how do we make steel? Let's go to the furnace. I've made two furnaces now. But luckily, in this one, I've made some steel ingots. To make steel ingots, you need one iron bar, one tin, 20, yes, 20 coal, 10 glowing embers, and a melting pot. Uh, I can't make a steel melting pot yet, but you can be sure when I can, I will. But for now, I just use the melting pot. Okay, so there we go. I've got 23 steel ingots. Let's take them. Let's go back to the anvil recipes and find the steel mace and we'll make that so seven steel ingots that's all it'll take and okay cool 
Let's grab our black shovel while that is being made and let's test out the black shovel. So I'm going to go dig some clay because I seem to need loads of it. Do you see I made another hundred uh, small, well made 107 of the lamps. So I've got plenty of these small lamps, pocket lamps now. But let's do some digging. First of all, the iron shovel. So as you can see it looks quite quick, the iron shovel, I do like it. But let's have a look at the black shovel. Now the black shovel, the iron shovel does one damage and its attack speed 0.76. Same speed for the black shovel but it does two damage. What does that mean to me and you? I don't know. Let's have a look. So if I put that in my slot, if I now dig, no I said not punch, I said dig. Oh we get two now. How cool is that? That's absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Definitely, definitely worth doing the iron shovel. Without a doubt. Beautiful. Right, I'm happy with that. Very happy. Uh, let's dump the iron shovel in the pile. In the refuge pile of old tools. Goodbye, iron shovel. You served me well. Let's dump my... Well, actually, no, before I dump the iron mace, let's just put it alongside the steel. Okay, let's take that, let's grab that, put that besides it. So that does 45 damage, attack speed 0.63. My new one does 60 damage and the same attack speed. So I'm going to equip that. I'm going to go dump this in the rubbish pile. There we go. Now let's go test it out. Before I do that, I want to drop my ingots. I'm starting to get lots of different types of ingots now. Uh, let's put that down. Also, I want to drop my ash. I'm just thinking that I always presume that I'm going to die. You know, and I'm usually right. So let's put the ash away because we don't want to lose that. That's the difficult things. I definitely don't want to lose them. Let's drop the clay and then let's go and test this steel mace. Okay, so let's switch to it. So I need chips. I need lots of gem chips. And at the moment, I want to really go still for the easiest. So until I can make my second chest, what I'm going to have to do is keep both types of armor with me. So the protective Bedouin. Because I'm not sure. I'm going to go to the next easiest area. Uh, which I think is north east. West of me. So let's try the north west and see if we can get any gems. Okay, if I look at the map just to show you where I am. In relation to my base. So there's my base. So I'm going to try hunting for these gems over this way. I think this is where the first gem started dropping for me. I know it might be different for, for all of you but I'm just gonna... Do I need to head that way? Let's kill this, test this out in this fox. Oh and there's a bear. So let's see how it does. Oh great. Alright maybe I should have stuck with the iron one. But at least it drops the bear in two. Yeah, you see, with the iron one, the fox, I could get in two hits. Now, the bugger's run off. Anyway, so these don't drop chips, so am I bothered? No. It just means I should hopefully kill these tougher creatures. I think I'm going to need my Bedouin now. Let's watch my stamina bar. Oh, here comes Mr. Fox. There you go got you in the end oh there's a load of iron yeah I think the steel axe will be the next thing that I make in the next episode um, I'll come back to this and mine it when the episode's finished for now let's go test this out Do these plants grow back? Because I'm sure I headed in this direction before. Am I still going the right way? Yeah.
Right, temperature's changed. I'm losing stamina. Time to switch clothing. That should hopefully take care of that. Let's continue on and try out my new weapon. Oh, here they come. Oh, nice. Two hits for the gorilla. Oh, one hit for that one. Oh, and I'm getting emerald chips. Right, well, that's what I'm going to be hunting for. But you can see the effectiveness of this weapon. It's absolutely fantastic. Let's see if we can find some more creatures. So I'm going to need four more of these chips because I have five of the onyx. Although I can't remember where I got the onyx chips from. So maybe I'll just get ten of these. Oh, one hit for the scorpion. Loving it. Okay, let's drink a herbal tea. Now, I heard a chip drop. I'm sure I did. Yeah, there it is. So we got another emerald chip. Cool. There we go. Oh, and there's some roses. I'm going to start picking the roses up because I need it for the elix elixir elixirs. Oh, something else is attacking me. Oh, it's getting dark, so I'm going to have to... Oh, is that another chip? Yeah. Yay. Okay, let's put some light down. Let's see if there's some more creatures. That might looks like it's iron. Oh, I can hear something. Here it comes. Gold coins are good. Something is shooting at me, but I can't. Oh, it's this poxy. Yeah, you heard it. All oh, right, drink another herbal tea. I think I have to make another hundred herbal teas. Okay, let's put some more lamps down. And I want to keep my eyes out for the roses as well. Oh, here we go, look. Because I didn't pick many of these up so far. light the whole jungle up I think eventually oh banana trees although I don't really use bananas oh is that more roses yeah let's go grab them well if nothing else I'll have lots of chips and lots of green roses And I must make uh, upgrade my amulets as well, because I know that a lot of you prefer to go for damage and defense, but I do love the regeneration amulets. They just suit my hunting perfectly. Oh, I've killed everything off over there by the looks of it. They know I've got a steel mace now, you see the creatures, and so they are 
hiding from me, although I can hear them. Oh wow, is that the time already? Okay, let's do a little more hunting, see if I can get a few more emerald chips. I think it's through here, so let's hack our way through. Oh, scorpion, let's take care of that first. Okay, herbal tea. I was wondering, can I kill it before it poisons me? The answer to, to that is no. Ah, right, okay, this looks like another cluster of iron. Well, I'm going to end the episode here because I want to mine all this out, to be honest with you, because I need loads of iron. Wherever you are in the world, at least you've seen the effectiveness of this steel mace. It's absolutely excellent. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.